back on the show here, and we have Jeanette Burke joining us, host of I'm Every Woman TV. And Jeanette used to be my co-host here on Liquid Lunch. And it's Go it's Jeanette. So great to be back. Thank it's you. It's great to have you on the show, Jeanette. And also, uh, because of you, uh, we have Gail as Yay! my co-host here today. So thank it's you. A, thank you. It's a Jeanette Burke love fest. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I really, I think I could use that. <laughs> yeah, and I was on your show not too long ago, and I had a really not good experience. Thank and you. Uh, yes, thanks good uh, for having me on. And um, you're welcome. We had really good feedback on that interview. Really? Yeah, you, you're a rock star now. Oh, awesome. <laughs> a television star. So, uh, well, I'm not the only one in the room because you're here, and um, I know you. Now, let's. Now, you haven't been doing TV forever. You are the founder of uh, Primetime PR, right? Well, yeah, that's the past, though. I, I know. I, but I, I have been doing TV for almost five years now. When you take the 18 months I worked with you, and the, the, um, November 28, 2011, I started um, I'm Every Woman TV, and now it's, we're in our third season with our next episode on Wednesday. Right. <laughs> so, so but it's I been, mean, it's been consistent. And you, um, but you did this for a reason, right? Like you're I not did, just I did on TV to be on TV. No. Right? You're, you've got a, a real passion and a real motivation for doing this. So I'll share that with you then, okay? Oh, yeah. Um, yes, I was a publicist in my former life with Primetime PR that I ran for 17 years. And then I... Um, I start mentoring women under the name Jeanette Burke, your marketing magnet. So I was mentoring, uh, doing marketing mentoring for women entrepreneurs. And the reason that I started the show really is that um, I've seen women go through a lot. And I think that it's even more so in the last few years. When when I say a lot, I'm, I'm talking illness as myself. I've had quite a, a bit of illness. And um, I see women suffering all the time and and I think it's because they get such mixed messages about their role in society today and who they're supposed to be and who they're not supposed to be and how to balance everything out and it becomes very difficult for a lot of women when you know uh, the, to the point where I think maybe they're starting to feel bad about themselves or they're starting to compare themselves to uh, what they think a successful woman should be defined as and uh, should be earning a certain amount of money, a six-figure plus income to be considered successful, which I, I don't necessarily agree with. And just to have the whole balancing act, and I think that uh, there isn't a lot of places women can go to have like an open forum to discuss all the issues that affect a woman's life either personally or professionally, and the truth is if, if an issue is popping up in the business side, it's going to affect the personal side and vice versa. There isn't a lot of that. There's a lot of TV for women, but there's most TV for women is, are not taking an in, a, a perspective or an investigative approach to these issues. So I wanted to basically create a show that gave rise to women's issues and celebrated women's contributions to society and talked openly about all these issues that affect a woman's life. And hence I called it I'm Every Woman because I believe that at the core, regardless of race, religion, background, education, we women, we deal with the same core issues all the time. So really that's what the show is about. It's about giving rise to these issues through my guests who I bring in to offer a particular expertise on a particular woman's issue. And then the idea is that the audience will have a takeaway, whether it's a change of action, um, some kind of a tool, a practice, um, an insight, anything that will give them the muster and the courage they need to carry on and keep going and stay out of the suck hole and keep producing. So. That's what it's all about. Wow. So that's a, a noble cause. And, and, and I, you know, I, when I see commercial TV out there, I see really the whole, I make this point around here a lot, but the whole point is really to exploit the audience. Even, you know, because you're selling, essentially you're selling the audience to, um, to the commercial interests who are buying the time to run their ads on those shows, right? And, and it, it seems to me what you're doing here is you're really – you're not about exploiting the audience. You're really about serving the audience by getting 
you know, yes. bringing these issues uh, and having a real conversation about them. Yes, and um, I'm not only serving the audience, although, I mean, that's a big part of it, because I do have a very large viewing audience, and I'm, I'm happy that I, I was able to build it up uh, that way. And, of course, I want to protect them, and I don't want them to be sold. I don't want an infomercial for the guests um, to come on and give an, an infomercial. I want tangible information, a story, and then we do the promotion. But I'm also helping the guests because uh, the guests are predominantly women, entrepreneurs, who either have, not always entrepreneurs, just, you know, they have a product to serve as a cause, something that they want to talk about. And um, I'm trying to help them, too, because... Uh, in order for them to really convey their message positively and have an impact on the audience, they have to present themselves in a certain way, and they have to be able to relay that message and get at that message. And so I think another service I'm providing, which I think makes me a bit different, is that um, I'm bringing to the table my whole arsenal of PR skills and marketing skills and I'm incorporating that into um, the whole uh, package that women and some men, because we have some men, including yourself, we had on, on uh, that take advantage of that and can really appreciate the value of that to um, helping them uh, have a proper, I guess, package, brand, image uh, to share and to impart. And, and that's really important these days because... Of course, the whole marketing landscape is changing with the Internet, with uh, social media. you got to know your SEO. you know, you got to use video. And uh, your video, to me, needs to be uh, any videos that you do. You need to have video, first of all, because that's how... Without a doubt. That's how you start to build and maintain the relationship with your customers. And, and, but you need to take that video and put it in a social media marketing context. Right. So, so are you saying, Jeanette, then, that what you do is you offer to people who want to come on your show the opportunity to work with you, obviously. It sounds yes. like from the experience yes. and expertise that you have that any woman out there who would want to be on your show as an expert would also have access to working individually with you to be able to know what it means to, to be successful being a presenter or an expert on a TV show like yours, is that, that what you're saying? That's correct. And it, it's the, I, would, I would say that being on my show is kind of the icing on the cake. The actual interview is an icing on a cake that would come after I've already taken a, a considerable amount of time to uh, prepare you for the camera, to hone your presentation skills, to help you perfect your image and convey the right message so that your audience, you're, pre, you're positioning yourself and you're branding yourself and packing yourself in a way where you are being taken as the credible um, expert that you want to be. Right. And, of course, whatever th wherever it leads from there, it can lead from there. But um, I think a, a very good uh, depiction of what I'm trying to do is, um, you know, it, it's one part publicity, it's one part media, it's one part promotion, it's one part coaching, it's it's kind of all fused together in a very unique sort of way mm -hmm. and it, it does have a purpose behind it, a very specific. Uh, so what are the standard. demographics of um, of the women that are watching your show? Why would, why would somebody tune in to watch your show? How would you know that they were the ideal person who would want to watch your show? Well, our demographics show us that the show's greatest appeal is to women 35 to 55, predominantly decision makers household buyers, um, high education, professional, high income earners. And I think that the real reason that they turn into the, to the show, other than uh, what the show is about and, and the type of guests and content that we feature, because it's really about content marketing. That's really what it is. Um, I think that we also have a lot of fun on my show, mm -hmm. and we have some really unique segments, such as uh, it's very girly. The show is very... Uh, um, aimed at women, so I made a, a, a conscious choice to create a set that I actually was very instrument, instrumental in, uh, in in having it come together through my vision of creating a very feminine set. And I think that the topics 
and the segments that we have, the concurring segments such as Tea Talk in the Parlor, which is our opening segment where we pursue hot topics and gossip and other things that women like. Um, uh, we uh, invite women to come, you know, take some time for yourself, grab a tea, join us, come in on this conversation, and then, of course, we move on to the guests and the content. So I think that's one of the reasons. I think another reason is that we have a concurring segment, which I started even when I was part of um, Liquid Lunch, which is the show, um, was a segment for women entrepreneurs called, we call it um, Magnetic Women in Business, and we cover issues just for, for women in business, usually on each episode. Um, we encourage other things in, in our show, uh, a segment called Dare to Dream, which we invite the guests to do something daring that they've always wanted to do. So I would say that the people who are watching my show are doing so because they're visionaries like me. And they want in their own life what I am uh, attempting to create for them as well right, right and they want that forum they want the community and they want the support right right cool great so now i know you're uh you put a lot of work into your show and you're doing it this week right so well, can't, yeah, like I, I know you're really working hard on this um and i, I don't even know how you <laughs> could find the time to come here today but i'm but thanks for doing that. But who's coming on the show this week, just as an example? Yes, okay, so this week I'm actually very excited about this uh, particular episode. Um, so it's on Wednesday, March 26, 2 p.m. is our airtime. Um, on the I air on XS Network, which is X like X like Xerox, S like Sam, XSnetwork.com. Um, this week we have... Uh, the first segment is uh, Women in Finance, which is sort of we've been doing a, um, a, a concurring segment on that, and it's uh, really um, various aspects to women in finance. So we have Stacey He coming back. She's um, a financial planner just for busy career women, and we're doing something really unique, which is something I sort of brainchild or of mine that I what thought was – well, it's all about how we all get to the mall, you know, us women, we love to uh, pamper ourselves and, you know, we're working very hard and we get to the mall and, you know, we're getting the hair done, the nails done, we're buying things, we're having lunch with the girlfriends and quite often we're just like whipping that visa card out like nobody's business and really not paying attention to it until the monthly statement arrives and it's like, what am I supposed to do now, right? So you we're going to do what I do. Jeanette. We're going to talk open about the that. Mail. Don't open the mail. Well, I believe you just had a segment on with uh, two ladies from the Red Tent Sisters, which was all about, uh, you know, menstruation. And, and I made a joke and I said, you know, that visa bill it arrives just like my period every, every month, month, and <laughs> and sometimes, you know, it is a shock. So and I, I don't think that I'm the only woman who has a bit of a spending issue or a pampering issue, and we're just going to talk about how easy it is to get into that and what it really means for you And in a segment called What Your Trip to the Mall is Really Costing You. Whoa. So we're going to talk about that. And then we have another uh, woman coming in by the name of Lorraine Wegman of Wegman Consulting, and she's, um, she's a person who deals with uh, training individuals to really appreciate and accept each other in uh, both a corporate environment and even a marriage, and to really explore and examine a strength and a weakness in two personalities and how they can unite to really make a really powerful um, uh, dynamic, whether in a company or in a marriage. So uh, I guess you could say she's a bit of a conflict management uh, specialist and a team builder, and she's going to come in and talk about... Um, you know, why people have trouble communicating with their partners and their business partners and how um, they also have trouble uh, res respecting each other, understanding each other and what can be done about it so, so that there's less um, conflict mm. and more ease and more joy in the life and 
Which less is what women want, and less and conflict, more ease, yeah. more joy. Yes, and, and to be heard and respected and appreciated. So that we're going to get into that. And then we round out, uh, well, we also have the tea talk, and, and that's it's kind of a cool thing. We're doing a political aspect on that this time because, you know, this is the first time ever that there's five female candidates running to um, to be mayor of Toronto and take Rob Ford down. You know what I'm saying? So um, we've got that also. And then we also have um, Lynn Kaplan is a divorce doula. And she's a family arbitrator and um, family mediator. And she really specializes in helping women who are going through divorce and breakup um, to deal with their emotions, to know how to handle things when they're forced to deal with lawyers and accountants and, you know, um, oh, that's legal tough. speak and all the things that you don't know how to do or even things like, you know, suddenly you're a single parent. What's that like? And you're losing maybe friends or family members, and how do you cope with that? So we're going to have her, her in to talk to women about that and basically help them manage their emotions around it and get some, like, how-to on how to handle, you know, deal with accountants, lawyers, and what have you, and, and most importantly, know how to ask for what you want and really get it. Mm. So I think that's going to be an amazing show. So you're covering, you know, three major areas that women um, need to know about, their emotions, their relationships, and their finances. And that's mm-hmm. just one episode. Yeah. Yeah, so right? this is this wow. is one episode. This is like this will give you an example of the type of thought that goes into the show. Um, I, I do a lot of research to bring in guests. I, I'm committed to covering various topics for women and women entrepreneurs and uh you know, each show is quite planned out. Um, yeah, I know. So if someone, so if someone's and watching, well as, if someone's well. watching Jeanette yes. and they want to contact you because they 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 want to be part of your show, um, how do they get in touch with you? Well, the best way to get in touch with me is to either email or call me. And um, there is a bit of an audition process to come on the show because. Mm-hmm. You know, as I mentioned at the onset of the segment, we do things differently and we're incorporating other aspects, so we need to talk about that. But then they get to work with you. Yes, they get to work with me. So uh, the best way to reach me is to email me at uh, Jeanette, which is spelled J-A-N-E-T-T-E, at yourmarketingmagnet.com. Okay. And or call me at uh, 905-882-6893. And, and what is your website? Is there a website for the TV show? Or uh, how do it's they... It's amalgamated at the moment. So how do uh, they find your uh, website? My website is www.yourmarketingmagnet.com. When you go into the site on the home page, there's a little bit to the left is, is videos about the coaching. And then there's a whole bar section about... Um, the show with previous broadcasts. Um, we also have social media tabs right above, and one of them is to my YouTube channel that has the playlist. Right. So, so you can watch the other shows. Yes, previous broadcasts. And if you can't watch the live show, how can they watch it afterwards? So we do repeat in pro- podcast, and we repeat the show. We post it over and over and over again until our next right. taping. Right. Um, they, they can watch that two ways. Uh, either by going to my page on the XS Network, which is at XS, like X, like an X, like Xerox S, like Sam together, network.com, and see the show page under I'm Every Woman TV. Or they can go right back to my website and log on to my um, YouTube channel or my Vimeo channel or my 22 Social or my iTunes and catch it all the all there. I also post uh, a lot, Facebook, LinkedIn, mm-hmm. Twitter, lots of ways to watch the show. Lots of ways to watch the show. Well, that's awesome, Jeanette. So I, I want to thank you for coming on today because I know you got a busy week because you're getting ready for the show. But, um, yeah. you know, I had a great time when mm-hmm. I was on. And, uh, thank you. And it, like I said, if it wasn't for the show, then Gail wouldn't have been here today and here i am thanks to Jeanette. and that's the beauty of giveaways and, and there's lots of people. wonderful yeah you have lots of wonderful giveaways on your show as yeah. well that's oh, another reason have some more so another reason to watch in. live yeah 
Tune in and get, yeah, you can only claim giveaways live. That's a good yeah. point. Uh, you have to be watching the live broadcast and contact me to claim the giveaway. So mm-hmm. you can't get those on repeat podcasts. But, yes, we have amazing giveaways. I wanted all three giveaways on yes. the show and that I you to, were on. I, I know she to, had to yeah. cut me off. I <laughs> said, okay, I had to, I had give to me the you interview. prioritize the one you really yes. wanted most. But I want to thank you so much for having me here today. It's been a real pleasure. It's always a pleasure to uh, be uh, um, working with you, Hugh, or talking with you. And I was happy also to have you on my show. I think you did a very uh, good job. And hopefully we'll continue to uh, be comrades. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Okay, Jenna, thanks a lot. Thank you. And we're going to take a little break now, and we're going to come back with our last guest of the day, ordained priestess Jasmine Starchild. Ooh. <laughs> 